Well, there's floating interest now to bring the <laughs> Chicago Bears to the suburbs, and Mayor Johnson is trying to keep the team in Chicago. Yeah, he says he met with the Bears yesterday. Political analyst Laura Washington is here to talk more about the options. So, hey, Laura, good morning to you, Hi. by the way. Uh, so, so Val was sitting here not too long ago. She said the team is definitely staying. Tanya sitting right next to me said she believes the team is absolutely at one point, you said it was going, right? At one point, I thought it was going when it was just Arlington Heights, but yeah. now... Now, Naperville in the mix. Yeah. Staying uh, in the Chicago area is, is, is I think, a safe word. Just Chicago area. area. Right, they exactly. Maybe the state that. of Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rockford's, Rockford's even trying to talk, talk about putting it out of here. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, it's a, everybody wants a sports team. Everybody wants a, a football team. So, yeah. it's, I can understand yeah. why it's so attractive, but there's a lot of buts there. Where is it going to end up? Where is it going to end up? It all depends on what kind of offer. I mean, the, the Bears are going to go with the best offer for them financially. They want a, they want a tax break. They want incentives. And that's one reason why they're pushing away from Arlington Heights because they don't like the deal that they think that they're going to get in terms of taxes right now. Yeah. This is all a negotiation for, for everybody concerned. And so this is a potential big win for Brandon Johnson because under, under Mayor Lori Lightfoot, it looked like the Bears staying in the city of Chicago was just out of the question. Yes, it is a potential win, but he has a lot of priorities on his plate. And this is one of the, one, not one of the top things he yeah. campaigned on. Right. He campaigned on bringing a billion dollars in social services, economic development, et cetera, et cetera, to, to address the city's challenges. The Bears are not necessarily going to be something that can do that. It, it will bring some revenue in, but he's got a much, much bigger revenue challenges ahead of him. What, so he's got to figure out what his top priorities are. And, and I guess that was that's my next question. What, what does he need to do? What does the city need to do to keep the Bears where they currently are right now? Well, I think, first of all, the Bears need to be clear on what they want. If, are they even interested? They that's never true. really they never really step forward with, with uh, Mayor Lightfoot. What, you know, if the Lightfoot uh, suggested a dome stadium, it was going to cost $2.2 .2 billion. It was going to expand Soldier Field that was not enough for them apparently so oh, what wow. do they want and so they, they they have to answer that question first was it not enough for them or was it proposed was it already too late by the time that was proposed uh, how could it be too late when they're now when now when now they're saying that they may not go to Arlington Heights they, yeah. you know yeah. it, there's a lot of dancing going on right now and, and so anything I think could be put on the table at and this these point. things are never settled quickly no, and we have time. They have this long lease. The, the Bears could stay at Soldiers Field for 10 years. I don't think they want to do that, but they have time. There's also uh, the South Works site on the south side, 430 acres that hasn't been in this conversation. Just want to throw that out there. Nah. Just, well, just want to. They say there there may be some environmental problems. Ah, uh, with that so, site. Okay, that's, that's, all right. That's a and big this question. is gotcha. why we have, have you, you here. exactly, Laura Washington. <laughs> really appreciate it. Good to Thank see you, you guys. so much. You Thank too. You. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.